is an instructional video on how to put up a yurt from Yurts for Life. This particular yurt is 18 feet diameter or 5.35 meters. It has three sections of trellis, 40 roof ribs that are 2.5 meters long, including three straight door ribs, and of course your steam bent crown. Your canvas bag contains everything that you need, packed in the order that you'll need it, starting with your wall band, roof canvas, wall sections, and finally your star cap. And you'll also have a ground sheet. You'll get six pegs with this yurt, so you just need a mallet to knock them in, and a length of rope about 10 metres. Before you get started, find a space that's flat and level, at least six metres wide, with plenty of space to move around, and no overhanging trees. Choose which way you want your entrance to be, ideally facing away from any prevailing winds. Place the door into the pocket of the ground sheet. It should now be self-supporting. Superstition says it should never be carried through the door, so go ahead and put your crown on the centre of your ground sheet now. Start to pull open your trellis. These will be labelled, denoting left or right of the door as you look at it from the outside. Looking to line up the ropes with the holes on the door. Once lined up, you can go ahead and start threading from the inside out. Starting at the bottom, the trellis is attached to the door using a half hitch knot. Having secured both sections to the door, now open up your middle section. Offer the two sections up to each other, and starting at the bottom, slowly tease the pieces together. You'll know you have this right when rivets and knots are horizontal to each other. Tie the sections together using a series of half hitch knots, then repeat the entire process on the other side. Make sure to push your trellis right to the edge of your ground sheet. Take a look at your trellis. You're looking for squares, not diamonds. Expand or contract your trellis as necessary to achieve the desired result. Next, tie your ground sheet off on one side, taking up the slack around the perimeter, before tying off on the other side. Now it's time to attach the wall band, making sure that the seam of the wall band lines up with the door. Unroll your wall band, hooking it over the trellis at a couple of points to prevent it from falling on the floor. Attach it to the other side. Once again, ensuring that the seam sits snugly against the door frame. Now it's time to lift the crown using a tripod method. Expert tip, you're going to want to have a gap facing towards the door. This will help later with unfolding your canvas. And these three holes match up to your three straight door ribs. For the tripod method, you simply need three equidistant points. For an 18 footer like this, start at the door and count five places to the right, then five to the left, and then find the middle point at the back. It's a good idea to make corresponding marks on your trellis and your crown to avoid any confusion later. Start by having someone lift the wheel up and place your rib in at the first point, tying with a half hitch. The rope goes over the trellis, under, around the knot of the rib, wraps over the trellis, over, under, and through, over, under, and through once again. Move round to your second point and tie with another half hitch. Again, over, under, round, over, under, through. Finally, move to the back point where you can use the rib to lift the crown up. Once you've tied off the last point, we advise revisiting your first two points to check and retie the knots if necessary, as these were tied at an angle and may not be tight enough. Et voila! Now that's done, it's time to start putting in the rest of the ribs. Making any minor adjustments as necessary. For the door ribs, pass the rope through the holes on the door frame and then secure with the same half hitch knot you've done before. We suggest starting from the outside and fitting the middle one last.
Once all the ribs are in, you're going to want to pull up the wall band over the ribs. And once that's done, it's time to put the roof on. Start by taking your roof wedge out of the bag and lifting it up onto the door frame. Take the rope attached to the tip and pass it over the top of the crown, pulling down to unfold the wedge, securing the rope temporarily at the side. Once secured, pull the wedge towards you so it's hanging over the door. Match up the canvas to the shape of the door and connect it by fastening the lift the dot sockets to the metal studs on the frame. You can now start to unfold your canvas. This is where it helps to have someone on a ladder through the gap in the crown to assist with unfolding. At this point, your roof canvas is inside out. Tie a rope to one of the rings near the door and use that to pull the canvas over the frame to the other side. With that done, it's time to secure the roof canvas to the frame. Start by finding one end of the roof cord and threading it from the outside in. Cast it off around the trellis using wrapping and a half hinge. Then repeat the same process on the other side. Just keeping tension for now. Whilst one person moves the slack around the perimeter, the other keeps the tension until finally it can be tied off. Now it's time to hang the walls. This here has three sections, two door sections with lifter dots and one middle section with loops and velcro. Fasten all the lifter dots to the studs on the door before unfolding the wall section and hanging it using the brass hooks. Repeat on the other side. Finally, your middle section. Now you're ready to join them all together. Thread the loops of one section through the eyelets of the adjacent section. Then lace the loops together. Finish by securing the last small loop to the toggle at the bottom. Check that the velcro join is sealed neatly all the way down. Once that's done, it's time to hammer in the pegs for the star cap. There are six pegs. The first two pegs should be evenly spaced either side of the door. Then the rest of the pegs can be spaced around, about six or seven ribs apart. The pegs should go in at about a foot distance away from the perimeter. Take out your star cap and completely unfold it. Make sure that the pocket is on the underside. Lift the star cap up onto the yurt and use a back and forth motion to pull it into place. Our expert tip, hammer the pegs in before putting the star cap on so you can secure it down quickly, preventing any sudden gusts from blowing it off. Make sure that the pocket of the star cap is sitting neatly around the crown. Now you can secure the ropes. Any knot will do, but the following knot will allow easy adjustment. Start by making a slipped overhand knot about a metre from the ground. Take the working end around and under the peg, then thread it through the loop of the slipped over handle. Pull down hard on the working end, and then tie it to itself using a taut line hitch. Take the working end, crossing it over the top of the standing end, pass it around the back and through the loop you've created twice. Finally, loop the working end around the standing end, but this time underneath the loop and back through the gap. The rope is tightened by pulling down hard on the working end and sliding the taut line hitch towards the peg. Go inside and tie the ground sheet to the wall. Finally, you'll want to tidy up the roof cord. Untie it from its temporary location. Wrap the cord around one of the ribs about five times should do it, finishing off with a cleat hitch. And that's it. You're all set up and ready to enjoy your beautiful yurt. With a little practice, you should be able to get this done in an hour.